this is a 3D figure of an animal cells. You can see that in animal cells, there are several cell components which has been labeled here. The most visible one will be the nucleus. And inside the nucleus, we have the nucleolus, which is the core of the nucleus. Next, we have the lysosomes, which contain lysozymes. And then we have the cytoplasms, which is the media here. And then we have mitochondrion, this one. Okay, and then we have the centriole, Golgi apparatus, ribosomes, plasma membrane. Next one will be the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and also the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Next, we'll be moving on to the plant cell. Plant cell also have all the organelles like animal cells. You just have some extra one, which is a cell wall. And then we have the chloroplast and the vacuole, which the animal cells do not have. We have the cell wall here to maintain the shape of the cell. And then the chloroplast. The chloroplast contain chlorophyll. Chlorophyll in Chinese, we call it as a ye lu su. It's very important for photosynthesis. And then we have the vacuole. So let's look at the first organelle, which is the nucleus. So the nucleus is the largest component in the cell. It's a sphere shape and then it's enclosed in a nuclear membrane with many pores. So this is, the pores is called the nuclear pore. And then we have the nucleolus at the middle. And of course, nuclear envelope, which surround the whole nu nucleus and then a nucleoplasm. And nucleus is like a CPU for your computer where it, con it control all the cells activities and it has chromosomes that contain DNA which is a deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA also determines the cell characteristic and also a metabolic function. So DNA is just like a memory. It stores all the memory of one cell, depend on what kind of cell it is. It can be nerve cells, it can be epithelial cell, it can be sperm cell or any cells. Next, we have the mitochondria. The plural is mitochondria, singular is mitochondrion. So in exam, you write either one is, is acceptable. So this is image of mitochondria under the light microscope. Mitochondria have two membrane, which is this one is the outer membrane. And then we have the folded inner, inner membrane. Mitochondria is road shape and has two membrane, which is a smooth one, the outer membrane. And then we have also have the folded inner, inner membrane. Inside mitochondria, we have enzymes that involve in cellular respiration, where you generate energy by glucose oxidation, which is the oxidation of glucose, or also can be called sugar, because glucose is a uh, type of sugar. So it's a glucose oxidation process in cellular respirations. The main function is generate energy. So the energy in what form? The energy is released in ATP molecule. Okay. Moving on next will be the centriole. All right, centriole is very important in a process called cell division. All right, so I'm trying to draw a cell. I'm currently using a mouse, so it's not, it's not very easy to draw properly. Uh. Okay, so this is one cell, and then this is a nucleus. And then in our body, one cell will try to divide into two cells through a process called cell division. One into two, after that two will divide into four cells, okay? Two cells will divide into four cells, like that. So spindle fiber formation requires centriole. So centriole forms spindle fiber during cell division in animal cells only. And it does not exist in plant cells. So this is an image of centriole. It's like you, um, centriole is cylindrical shape. Okay, cylindrical shape. And then if you try to look on the top of it, I'm trying to, I'm <laughs> sorry for very bad drawing. Okay, so if you look straight downwards, it'll be like this. Okay, it will look like this. However, if you look sideways, it will be like one strain, one strain of fibers like that. Okay, so the, the function of centriole is to form spindle fibers 
during cell division in animal cells, and it does not exist in plant cells. Next, we will have the Golgi apparatus. So Golgi apparatus is rather looks weird. It's just like one, one layer of, of membrane that's stacked together. But Golgi apparatus is very important because it is helped to process, modify, and pack the trans and transport the chemicals. So whatever our body makes, it also relies on Golgi apparatus to transport throughout the cells. Whether it's to other cells or for our own cell use, it requires Golgi apparatus.